quarterfinal number two of Judgment Day. Make his way to the ring, Darren Kirby. Darren Kirby all the way from WA, Ron Parr and Brett Dalton in his corner. Darren Kirby going up. Well, really an unenviable task against the king, Sam Solomon. A Muay Thai stylist from Western Australia, Hammer, Darren Kirby. Well, Kirby from the, uh, the gym of Brett, the dark side Dalton. See if he can uh, send Sammy Solomon to the dark side. I well, love the Kalwak gym over there in Perth with the damaging one, Brett Dalton. Ronnie Parr also in the corner. This one should be a corker. Oh, listen to that ovation. Listen to that music. It can only mean one thing. Make his way to the ring. One of the most popular kickboxers and boxers in Australia. They call him the King Sam Solomon. Being led to the ring by the Olympic legend, Dave Hitchcock. All hail the King Hammer. He's back in centre Well, here he is, all the way from Cold England, Sammy Solomon. What an ovation for Sammy Solomon. He's back in the kickboxing tonight, Hammer. And he's here for the money. And he's opted for the uh, shin protectors. He's going to try and save his legs for the next round. This is, there's a dash of confidence from Sammy Solomon. Already trying to save his legs up for the finals. I'd tell you what, you talk about great entertainers and that King Sam Solomon is one of the best. And let's go to Andy Raymond. Judgment Day, quarterfinal number two coming your way once again. We are scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai stylist from Perth, WA. Weighing in at 71.95 kilos, dangerous Darren Kurave. <laughs> fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 71.2 kilos. Trained under the watchful eye in kickboxing circles under the living legend Dave Hedgecock at the famous Underworld Gym. Ladies and gentlemen, a multi-time national boxing champion. As far as kickboxing goes tonight, we say welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, Sam King. Charge of the action in quarterfinal number two. Your judges are ringside Terry Clay, Mark Corey, and Bryce Ferguson. Well, Graham, no worries. Waddell will be the third man in centering for Darren Kurovic versus the there King Sam Solomon. Our second quarterfinal of Judgment Day. One of these men will meet Daniel Dawson in the semi final. Will it be the Muay Thai stylist from Perth, Kurovic, or the glamour boy himself, Sam Solomon? Break, the person goes down, goes straight to the neutral corner. Touch clubs to start the first in the final round. Good luck. Again, we are set for three by three. Solomon with the living legend Dave Hedgecock in his corner. He can't be in much better hands than Dave Hedgecock. And in the corner of Darren Kurovic, well, what will be a battle of wits? The dark side, Brett Dalton, and also rugged Ronnie Parr. Graham of Dal about to get us underway. First round of three, second quarter final of Judgment Day. One of these men will meet two time world Muay Thai champion, the Rock Daniel Dawson. Sam Solomon decorated as a kickboxer and boxer of course this man, a former Australian professional cruiserweight boxing champion. Won that title over Peter Kinsella when he knocked out the big man Kinsella in the 12th round a couple of years ago. And now back in the sport that made him famous, kickboxing. And if you want to see some of the best kicks in the business, Hannah, Sam Solomon's got it. Well, he's uh, not going to have too much a chance to show him if it uh, goes uh, Darren Kubik's way, because Kubik is certainly going to hold on to him and they try and grapple him uh, to high heaven. Wow. Aaron Kurovic already working the Muay Thai grapple on Sam Solomon, trying to rattle the old head around it. The King Sam Solomon, and Solomon giving no room to move whatsoever, as the hammer said. Well, they've uh, done their homework, uh, Kurovic's corner, and they know uh, at range Solomon is certainly going to have the goods, so they're just going to try and grapple him out of this one. If Kurovic gets in close, you have to feel that Sam Solomon will have to go for those professional boxing skills of his, those boxing skills that have taken him all the way over to England recently which is where he's heading after this fight, back to England to forge his pro boxing career further. Well, Sammy's looking a little bit weathered already as uh, Kurovic is really making his job hard. Sam Solomon has walked into a war. We are one minute five down here in the first round. Quarterfinal number two, Michael Chavello ringside with the hammer, Mark Castanini. And this one brought to you by eblackbook.com.au. If you're a betting man and you fancy a punt on the races, then check out eblackbook.com.au. Well, my bet would be 
<laughs> well, look what at the bit of this one, Hammer. Maybe an upset on the cards. Well, Darren Kubik doing his homework and doing it well in centre I bet would be that uh, Sammy Solomon's getting for an absolute uh, war here with uh, Kubik. Kubik's going to make his uh, job very, very hard indeed. Oh, nice right hand there. Tagged him on the draw from Darren Kurovic. Sam Solomon all tied up and nowhere to go. Right. Nice right. lead of the stern in there from Kurovic. Kurovic is winning this first round, utilising his Muay Thai technique. Of course, we remember Judgment Day last year was strictly a kickboxing contest, and all men were required to use the shin pads in the first round hammer. A little bit of a change here due to popular demand. Now modified tie. Right. Well, with the popularity of K1-style uh, right. tournament right. events, the eliminated, elimination time tournaments, Judgment Day was in its early days uh, over a year ago, uh, one of the uh, sort of uh, birth grounds of uh, this type of tournament. Sam Solomon just turns around Kurovic. That snappy jab of the very awkward, unorthodox Sam Solomon. Kurovic now forces him into the blue corner and ties him up. Well, Sammy really needs to be uh, square up a little and start to work his hands and, and be uh, back with pedaling but also firing shots out. He's relying on uh, just uh, letting his legs go. Perhaps. Uh, Popping the jab a lot more would be a good game plan for Solomon here. Turning back kick there from the King Sam Solomon. Huge crowd support for him here tonight. Looking for the sweeping inside leg kick. And it's been a while since the King plied his trade in center in kickboxing. Nice snappy left hand there from the King Sam Solomon. Beautiful uppercut there from Solomon. Rocking the head back. That Kurovic looking for that good night Irene. Now off the right. Wow. the first round hammer. I'll tell you what, what a torrid affair that first round was. Sammy Solomon in a little bit of bother there with the, uh, the very tight on uh, Darren Kurovic. Kurovic all over Solomon like a cheap suit, Michael. I tell you what, it was uh, absolutely clean to him. And uh, Sammy Solomon didn't have room to move and uh, fire out those Listen. angular attacks that he has. He's grabbing hold here. His whole technique is to close up the hands. Running. Once again, we see uh, Kurovic just the closing up, going to grapple. Solomon trying to work the uppercut. Kurovic just missing with that knee to the face. And uh, what a torrid affair that first round was with, uh, with Solomon having no room to move whatsoever. Come on, Sammy, wake up, wake up. Come on, lift your head up, wake up. All right? We're here for this. Wake up. All right? Come on. You're fighting these fights. Sort it out. Keep Straight it off. Punch. We're ready to roll into the second round. You can tell. Oh, you can hear Solomon's corner there. The living legend, Dave Hedgehog, telling the king to wake on up. Meanwhile, a lot of confident smiles on Ron Parr and Brett Dalton's face in the corner of Dean Kirby. Old jumping, turning kick there from Sam Solomon. Solomon just getting out of the way of that harmful right round kick and left round kicks there from Kirby. Big overhand right left combination. Now Sam Solomon starting to turn on the adrenaline. He's starting to launch the heavy artillery. Oh, snappy right hand there, rocked Kirby. Solomon tagged him, that's for sure. Kirby moves forward looking for the high left rib cage. Sam Solomon's got that farewell right hand cocked and ready to go. And Graham Waddell separates them right in front of our commentary position. Nice turning kick to the midsection there from Solomon. He's lost none of his flair, the King Hammer. Well, as uh, Kurovic's corner just calling for him to keep on Solomon. But Kurovic probably taking a little too long to close it up. Have a look at the shins of uh, Kurovic. They're absolutely battered already. Sammy Solomon, oh, a beautiful piece of evasion there from Solomon. As slippery as an eel. Launches that big eye ring right hand again. And Kurovic just ties him up. Wow, some... Heated words in the corner of Darren Kurovic now because Sam Solomon has upped the tempo here in the second round. What a cagey veteran he is, Sam Solomon. Collects him at the left. Well, that one rattled the old brain of Darren Kurovic. How tough is uh, Darren Kurovic though? He just keeps stalking forward. A nice turning back kick, beautifully timed by Sam Solomon again. Solomon moving around the ring like a little whippet. Well, Solomon's got to watch. He doesn't leave his back too exposed when on those turns. But uh, Kurovic already looking a little bit weathered. Uh, too much so to probably take advantage of it. One and a half minutes down here in the second round of action. It's quarterfinal number two of Judgment Day. The Super Out to decide the best middleweight in Australasia. Sam Solomon wants a big right hand again. And Solomon's corner right next to me telling him to pounce on Kurovic. A big overhand right. And only sticks as referee claim no worries without. Nice thumping left hand there coming from the awkward angles that Sam Solomon uses. Outside leg kick to the outside right side there from Solomon and Graham Waddell separates both men. We're into the final minute now. Oh, and that again by Solomon caught him hammer. Big push-up jab there from Solomon caught Kirovic sweetly. 
Sam Solomon has taken this second round so far. It's been an intelligent one from the King. A hook right hand combination there from Solomon, then checks the low kick. A little bit of fancy footwork to get out of dodge there for Sam Solomon. Such a cagey, wily veteran, Sam Solomon, turning heel kick there from the King. Kuvik ties him up again, and Graham Waddell will separate both men into the final 20 seconds of the second round hammer. Well, Kuvik uh, getting attacked from all angles on Solomon. Good to see he hasn't lost uh, any of that uh, caginess, Michael. I tell you what, you have to be impressed by Sam Solomon here in the second round. What an intelligent round here from the King. The one two just falling short there from Kuvik. Beautiful uppercut, smack bang under the chin there from Solomon. And another from Solomon. What a top round from the King Hammer. Well, the King is back. That was certainly uh, Sammy Solomon's round. Kuvik uh, running out a little bit of puff in the second round. Couldn't uh, catch up Solomon. Just a little bit too tired. But uh, what an absolute corker this fight is uh, turning out to be. But I'll tell you what, Michael, certainly uh, Kuvik was, is taking his toll on Sammy Solomon's legs and body. Three. Four, four. Five. Hands up. Hands up. Once again, Kuvik stalking forward. Solomon just brushes that front kick aside and comes back with an attack of his own. A low leg attack took the supporting leg out of uh, Darren Kuvik. And uh, Solomon, good anticipation, good pick up, uh, seeing the leg was exposed. Big looping left hand there from Solomon. Caught Kuvik the side of the head. And uh, this is why Sammy Solomon is such a hard fighter. Well, a hard fighter to fight, rather. He attacks Second you from all down. angles, angles you just don't expect to be hit from. The third and final Nice push-up left hand there from Solomon, and two of to the back. Here we go, the third and final round. Sam Solomon just geeing up this great crowd. Fantastic crowd support behind the King Sam Solomon. They've all come to see his return to kickboxing. But just a one-off according to Sammy Solomon. He's after the big bucks at his $10,000. Winner takes all here tonight. Snappy right hand there on the draw from Kirby. Big Kirby coming forward again. A little bit tentative now to move in though, Darren Kirby. Knows that Sam Solomon's got that big farewell right hand cocked and ready to go. There was a sweeping leaky from Solomon and just weighing down him with the forearm as they went to the canvas. Well, Solomon just picking up on the anticipation and uh, took the supporting right, leg out. Up. Sam Solomon just so quick with that uppercut hammer. And a late knee there from Darren Kurovic. Solomon just smiling at him, saying, come on, Dazlat, what do you got for me? Well, Sammy Solomon featuring on the latest uh, cover of International Kickboxer magazine. Yes, and that's a great story uh, in that uh, little issue there, Michael. Sammy Solomon, oh, leapy knee there from the King Sam Solomon. And Graham Waddell separates both men. We are one minute down here in the third and final round of action. Quarterfinal number one, who will go on? to face Daniel Dawson in the first semi-final of Judgment Day. Well, whoever it is, Michael, they're going to certainly be battered from this round. Dawson going to be relatively fresh after his first round stoppage. And uh, both of these boys have uh, certainly taken uh, a bit of a battering in this uh, eliminator. Comments from the Hammer, Mark Castanini, ringside with myself, Michael Chavello, Sam Solomon just digging away at the ribs, then upstairs on Darren Kurovic. Nice turning back kick from in close by the King. Kurovic ties him up, but Solomon just forces him off. And look at the physique on Sam Solomon here tonight, Hammer. He is ripped and buffed. Well, would, uh, you'd have to notice his physique, Mark. I'm getting a little <laughs> bit worried about you commenting on all these physiques. I'm just appreciating a fine and highly conditioned athlete like Sam Solomon who is plying his trade and his physique overseas. And he lays a big one, two, smack bang on the forehead of Darren Kurovic. Well, I'll let my girlfriend too, Hammer, if she's listening. <laughs> Good comeback there, Michael. Good saving grace. But uh, anyway, uh, Sammy Solomon certainly doing Australia proud over in the UK. And uh, he's come back for an encore performance and he's executing uh, some of his fine skills in centre ring right now against the boy from Perth, Darren Kuric. Oh, nice inside cry kick there from Sam Solomon. I was just thinking, Hammer, last time Sam Solomon was in one of these eight-man tournaments, would have been back in 1995 at the Entertainment Centre, but he took on Gurkhan Oskhan in the final of a similar middleweight tournament. Exactly right, Michael. And uh, that's why you're the uh, oracle of kickboxing. You've got all those uh, stats, facts and figures uh, stored up upstairs there. And Sammy Solomon, uh, no stranger to these eight-man events. He's also fought some of the legends. One who is making his return. The powerhouse, Ian well, of course, the powerhouse, Ian Jacobs, will be in Melbourne on August 5th at the Crown Showroom. Beautiful uppercut from Solomon that's rattled him. Kuvik will be doing a quick count of his teeth after that one. Another one there from Sammy, the King Solomon. Into the final seconds now, the third and final round. The King has turned it on again. He's got the mustard, he's got the pepper, King Sam Solomon. 
Well, Solomon's going to go through after this one. I'll uh, preempt the judges' uh, decision a little bit. I think he just finished too strongly. Hammer, have we set up for an absolute blockbuster showdown? Well, Sam Solomon, Daniel Dawson, perhaps. Well, I tell you what, Sammy uh, certainly had a bit of uh, a hard time in the first round. Found his feet was nice and comfortable in the second and third and probably racked up enough points to progress through to the next one. Once again, we see Solomon again attacking from all angles. He can uh, pull that spinning back kick just out of the bag from very, very close. Most fighters can't do that. Either that or they do strike below the belt, but Sol Solomon gets it right up into the midsection. Here we see him uh, just popping those twos and threes in and then moving off. Kurovic trying to close the gap. Unsuccessful. He was a little bit tired. He did it hard, Darren Kurovic, but uh, what a lot of heart he showed. And you wouldn't expect anything less from uh, a fighter coming from Brett Dalton Stables. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges' scorecard. We have a unanimous points decision. Judge Bryce Burwistle scores the bout 29-28. Judge Mark Corey, 29-27. Judge Terry Clay, 29-27, for your winner from the red corner, Sam King Solomon. Oh, there you have it. The King is back in the winner's circle and will face Daniel Dawson in a marquee matchup in semi-final number one coming at you shortly.